if you don't want to use a third party software like Chris Titus tool or something, you don't feel comfortable doing that. I'm going to actually show you some things that are built into windows. Uh, I'm going to go into uh, PowerShell and show you some of the commands inside PowerShell. So the first one is going to be disable transparency uh, effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to, again, I'll have all these down in the description. So I'll look in the description of everything that I'm doing. And I'll have these, and all you gotta do is do what I'm doing. You copy and you paste it in here. So your transparency effects, the value set to zero. I don't know what the the uh, original value of it is. Is the transparency? You see how my screen is right now? See the transparency? See how you can see through it? So that's what we're wanting. And if it had like a, a value of ten, you know. Uh, then you're going to be able to see like what you're seeing right now, you know, whenever you move your um, boxes around. So more things that your transparency does, the, the more that it uses, that means more resources that you're using for like your GPU and your CPU. So we just hit enter. That's it. And you're, we're done with that one. All right, so the next one is going to be to remove bloatware in your system. This is actually coming going to come into a two-part. So you're going to get over here, type in this command here or copy and paste from the description down below, type in this. This is the first part. So basically you're gonna try to, these are all the bloatware apps that are in your system. So you're just trying to get the name of these because for the next prompt that you need to run for this, when you put it in, it's here. So you see right here where it says app name, you take this out and then you're gonna put in Microsoft dot your, uh, your phone. That's what you're gonna put here and then you're gonna hit enter. All right, so the next one is to clean your temporary files. So we're gonna go again, we're gonna type in here. So again, this is what I was talking about in the beginning. I'm running, I have Chris Titus tools and some other things. So it's not gonna give me access to mine, but this is all you do and it, comes through but this is you know remove item cannot remove c and it's telling me wh what it can't remove because there's some temporaries that can't be removed so and uh, that's for programs that i'm using and there might be some that you can't use go through here and read and see what it can't remove so it's telling you what it can what temps can and cannot be removed so but anyways this right here you type in this right here again the link will be down in the description for you to uh, copy and paste. So Windows Update stores the update files on your PC. So the next one is to clean up the WinSXS folder. And that's what we're gonna do now. So paste this in here. This is gonna be the command, again, down below. I won't keep saying that. So, and then here we go, let it do its thing. So. Uh, it shows that it's only at 70%, even though it is, the operation has completed successfully, so it is done. All right, this next one, everyone should know. It's, uh, oh crap, wrong button. Uh, SFC space forward slash scan now. You can try to run this in PowerShell. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. See, Windows res uh, resource protection could not start the repair. So if something like this or any of these did not work, something happened, then you, what you do, you come to command prompt, run it as administrator for command prompt, and then just type in the same thing. And there again, if you see, it's running everything right now to verify and scanning through doing everything that it needs to do. I don't need to let. So if it found something and you need to repair it, okay? So you check for repairs in Windows. Then the next one that we're gonna run is the DISM. And as it runs, it's going to do its little thing. And again, just depending on how fast your system is, this could take a little bit. If it's too much, then you'll just see me fast forward it. But uh, this is just running through, and it's going to find see if there's any corrupt files whatsoever in your system. So again, your S SFC up here, this is going to give you a good idea if there's anything wrong with it. And then, of course, you run this one out here because it's going to repair and the restore whatever needs to be restored. So the restore operation completes successfully. So if there was anything missing, it would have been there. So the next one is if you have a hard drive, 
Okay, don't run this if you have a, a solid state drive. Uh, this is a two-parter. Um, optimize and defrag. So all you gotta do is if you're if you have a hard drive on your system, and I don't care if it's a solid state, it's not an M.2 and it's still a solid state type hard drive, don't run this. Uh, you just type in this command right here, and this will actually uh, optimize and defrag your hard drive. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out of there. Now, for all of us with solid state drives and M.2s, we are going to run this command right here. And then we hit enter. And now what it's going to do is going to trim and do whatever it needs to do. And again, depending on how fast your hard drive is, how fast your computer is, will be how long it takes. So mine's already done. So, <clears throat> So total amount that was done was 1.4. I have a two terabyte, which comes out to 1.81. Uh, use space on here, you know, 500 gigs. I got 1.39, so that's what got trimmed. So. so this next one is to see what all is starting up on your computer whenever you hit that power button. So I'm going to type it in. This is everything that I have. Not everything is booting up because if I come over here to... Uh, type in startup apps. I already have things turned off in here. So, but these are your startup apps right here is to disable the startup programs because disabling the, uh, these uh, unnecessary startup programs can reduce your boot up time. So you just type, you know, put this in there, hit enter, and that's it. You're done. I mean, it's just that simple. So the next one is we're going to enable high, you can enable high performance. So if you just redid Windows and you only have balance mode and power save mode, especially on a laptop, you can actually type this one here. I'm not going to actually hit enter on this one, but you can type this one here. And this will actually give you your uh, high performance power plan in there. Uh, I don't know the command prompt for the uh, ultimate performance, but I don't suggest everyone to use it. But I have to have mine, but I have a, a Chris Titus version of uh, Ultimate Performance. So let's see the next one. We're going to clear page filing at shutdown. So basically, think of a piece of paper. Think of your, you're on a piece of paper and you're writing something on a piece of paper, right? So whenever you're done writing and you're done using it, you either pull that out of your notebook or whatever and you throw it away. Oh, excuse me. You throw it away. So that's basically what this is going to do. That's what our RAM does. Our RAM, when we use RAM on our PC, our RAM is like a, a, a like a notepad. And every time we turn our computer off, it's supposed to be completely wiped by the next time we turn on our PC. Sometimes it's not, though. And sometimes we can start where our RAM is already showing like 33 or 40% of the RAM where it shouldn't. So you just type in this and you hit enter. I mean, that's... Just to double check that, hit enter. Make sure I did it right. And it set, it sets the value right here to one. So it's telling it what to do right here. All right. So the next one is going to be manage Windows update delivery optimization to ensure that Windows does not update using all the bandwidth, uh, your unnecessary bandwidth in the background. So in order to do this, I mean, I like Windows Update. I have some other videos, and that is one thing that keeps your computer running smooth as possible is having the updates. But if you're in the middle of a video editing, pro, uh, you know, you're video editing something, you're doing something workload, or you're playing a video game, all those unnecessary updates and things that are running in the background is actually slowing down your system. So we're actually going to set this one to disable. Okay, it's telling me I can't disable it because I've already have it disabled through the Chris Titus tool. Again, this is just to help you out. So uh, if, if Chris Titus, Chris Titus tool scares you and you don't want to use that third party app, this is all built into windows. Again, in saying that if you don't want to run Chris Titus tool to uninstall like OneDrive or Microsoft edge, this one right here will actually take out OneDrive. I'm going to probably want to pop it up in red again because I don't have OneDrive on here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it. 
So it just says that it removed it, even though I already know that it's it's removed. Uh, Cortana is another one. So uh, I don't like Cortana. I don't like a lot of the AI. I do use AI in a lot of things on my, I have another channel, but I do use some AI. And I don't like the direction of AI and AI being in everything. Saying that, I do have an Alexa and all that in my home, and I have a lot of AI around me. So this one right here, if you don't like Cortana and you, you want to hide Cortana or don't allow her, that, again, it's going to set the value to zero and just hit enter. But I already have Cortana gone. She's already out of my system, so I don't have nothing here. Uh, but that will be the command. Again, it will be down in the description below. All right, so we're at the halfway point. If uh, you're getting any... Um, value out of this or this is being informative to you go ahead and smash that like button go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed uh only this is a little over 300 i'm just a small channel here uh i want to bring out things there's so many people that bring out these third parties and windows itself gets a bad name I, I there's a lot of problems with windows i agree but at the same time there's a lot of things that windows allows you to do within its own system that you don't have to use a third party tool so, uh, again, just go ahead and hit that smash button, hit that like button, leave me emoji down below, leave me a shit emoji, leave me a, a smiley face, just leave something in the comments down there. Get the algorithm out there, because, I mean, even if you, I mean, if you made it this far, then, I mean, obviously, you're getting something out of it, right? So, now we're going to disable Windows uh, animations. Animations can slow down your system, especially on low-end hardware. Um, again, like this right here, this is an animation that I have disabled and I can see through my window, right? So this is a, the transparency and animation. Well, the more animations our computer does, the more it takes away from your GPU. So if you're just sitting at a with a 3060 or smaller end, you know, GPU, I mean, even me with a 4090, I still want all this because I want the best performance I can get, right? So again, this will be the command we do. It is and then enter i mean it's already done it already says what it's going to do it already changes the value of what it needs to do all right so the next one is going to be disable the prefetch and superfetch system so on ssds disabling these will will improve or can improve performance of your ssds and make your system run faster so it's actually a two parter here so we got to type this one here because we got to open it up and we got to force it. So now we're there and now we got to make sure that uh, it's disabling um, the prefetch and the uh, superfetch. So uh, and that's what we're going to do here with this one. We're going to make it disabled. That's what this says right here. We're disabling it. So I'll go back here, hit enter. So that's disabled. All right, so now we're going to also clear, since we're clearing stuff out, we're going to go ahead and clean out some DNS. So cleaning out your DNS can resolve cache issues to fix potential network issues and improve your internet performance. So even if you don't have nothing wrong with your internet, me personally, I like to run this at least once a week. Same thing once a week. I restart all my modems and routers in my home, and I make sure everything is up to date, fresh. The DNS server, everything is just fresh. So go ahead, and we're going to put that in there. We're going to just hit next. Boom, it's done. It cleared that cache out so that that cache memory is not in there no more or any numbers, IPs, whatever. It's all, it's all cleared out now. All right, so the next one's going to be enable your write catch on your storage devices. When you're enabling the write catch to improve disk performance, especially for external hard drives, so uh, thumb drives, hard drives, stuff like that, this right here will actually speed it up where the cache, it's, it's caching it better. I mean, it's no different than just the way it says. I know it's spelt different, but... It's cache or, you know, however, who wants to say it or who wants to, to knock it down in the comments, go ahead and say it. But cash is just like what it means, man. You got cash in your pocket. You know, I might have $100, you might have $5, but which one's more, right? So uh, this is going to enable. So if I have $100, then I can spend more on it or, you know, use more where if you have $20, you have less. So basically we want more. So we're going to enable the stores much a uh, <laughs> the storage bus, bus cache, if I can talk now. Okay, so 
it's enabling it. There's some, you had a couple of errors there. Again, a lot of this I'm showing on this computer. I should have grabbed my laptop because I'm not running the Chris Titus on the laptop. So, but this right here, uh, I'm only getting the red because of certain things that I have enabled on uh, within Chris Titus and other things I do on my PC to make it run better. Me personally, I'm not worried about putting these in and messing up my computer because I can have a, a fresh copy of Windows in and back up and running within an hour. <laughs> so and everything down, all my games, everything downloaded. So but anyways, to the next one. So I should have put this one up there to disable the pre-fetch uh, and the super fetch uh, up there. But this one here is going to delete the old prefetch data. The old prefetch data can accumulate and, and slow down your computer. So uh, we do want to clean that out. We want to remove any items that are in there. Again, we're going to go here, type in the command, hit enter, done. I mean, that's it. All right, so I got a couple of bonuses. That's my top 20 right there. Uh, a couple of bonuses is you got network optimization. So if you optimize your network settings, you can optimize them for best performance to reduce network latency and increase uh, through output, uh, enabling your TCP auto-tuning. So again, I know that's a mouthful. I know that was a lot to probably take in. Trust me, it works. So we just type it in. Here's the command. Hit enter. And say it said, boom. And then it said, okay. You know, it says, okay, we'll do this for you. Uh, and then the last one I have is disabling search indexing on your SSD. On solid-state drives, it's not like an old hard drive. So the search, the way that it indexes, it's just, as it says, you've got a file cabinet and you got, you know, a thousand files in there. You can compress them where you make them smaller. You can make your indexing a lot better. And we want our computer as fast as possible whenever we're opening up certain files and stuff. Again, this is going to be a two part. But if you're using SSD, disabling search uh, indexing, can improve the performance and make it faster. So, I mean, faster is always better, right? No, not not really. Faster is not always better. Faster can actually break things. But anyways, uh, this is the first one. We're going to stop the service and we're going to force it. We're going to hit yes. And then we're going to also disable it where it does not do this. And boom, that is it. So again, I mean, Windows has its own built-in. Windows gets a bad rap. I mean, Linux, you get to do a little bit more in Linux, but at the same time, Windows has its own built-in stuff. You don't always have to use Chris Titus or use these other programs out there that manipulate Windows to do certain things. Yes, they're nicer. If you can learn Chris Titus, express, I mean, I know there's other ones. I just, I like Chris Titus out of all the ones that I've used over the years. Chris Titus, I believe, is a very smart dude. Um I just wonder if it's just him or if he gets it from other people too. But no, I can't knock him. He, uh, he He's pretty smart. So, but again, Windows has its own built in between command prompt, Windows, PowerShell and stuff. So you can do a lot within Windows itself to optimize and get things running better. So as you see, I did have a few reds in there whenever I was showing. That's because I'm already running other things and there's nothing there for it to do because it's already being taken care of. So it can't overlap. So I've already changed the core of my, the complete core of my uh, my Windows operating system. But no, hopefully y'all got some insight on this. Again, don't forget to hit that like button. Go ahead and smash that subscribe if you're not subscribed. I mean, 85% of y'all are not. I mean, I do I have a couple of good hit videos out here, but I mean, I, I can only grow if you subscribe, you know? And if you're at this point here, that means you watch this video and... That means you were intrigued somehow. So if you've already made it to this far, go ahead and hit that smash button, hit that like. Again, if I did a crappy job, leave me a shit emoji down in the comment. Uh, I, I I really don't care, you know, but I do care. I care, but I don't care. But leave me that shit emoji because what it's going to do is going to let the algorithm know that people are interacting with it. Even though you think it's crap, it might benefit the next person. There's so many people. I mean, I've had five calls today with people video chat with me to help fix their computers or even buy a computer. My brother-in-law and I ain't heard nothing from him in like a, over two years. And he calls me today because his computer crashed. And guess what? He needed advice on a computer and to buy a computer and what was going to benefit him more. So anyways, I'm Thomas with Tomology. I'll catch you all in the next one.